Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some almond crescents. I've done them a long time ago and they're so easy to make and so nice. I was making some for my family so I thought I'd make some to show you these almond crescent biscuits, okay? Now it's very simple. We don't have to need any beaters or anything. I have I have uh, just left out 240 gram of butter and when it just went nice and soft what I did was I added half a cup of icing sugar, half a cup of icing sugar, half a teaspoon of salt and the vanilla and that's what I added to that uh, melted 240 gram of butter. Now what we've got here, uh, I've got one and a half cup of self-raising flour one and a half cup of self-raising flour and I'm going to mix it up with three quarter cup of almond meal three quarter cup of almond meal just mix it all together and that's all we do we just add that all to the mixture just mix it all together that's that three quarter cup of almond meal and one and a half cups of self-raising flour and I've got half a teaspoon of salt there I've got vanilla I've got 240 gram of melted butter and half a cup of icing sugar. So just put this a bit at a time and mix it all together. I've got my oven on for uh, 180 and, and all we've got to do is just mix all this flour up together with this lovely melted butter. We don't, have, we don't need any beaters, we just have to mix this all around to make a nice soft dough. I'll just put them all together, make a nice soft dough. If you need any more flour you can add to it. Sometimes I just have to judge the softness of the batter. So just put that all in. Put that all in together and make that lovely soft dough. I think I need a little bit more self-raising flour to this. It just seems to be a little bit of a soft dough today. I think I melted the butter. Just add some more self-raising flour and it'll be nice. Enough to make the, the almond crescents. Okay, so I'm just going to add some more self-raising flour. You might have to add some more self-raising flour to get that nice mixture. I'll just put another little bit in. And I think that'll be nice. You make these into little crescent biscuits. And they only go in the oven for about 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes. That's all you need. And they are beautiful. Lovely almond crescents. Lovely. All we need is that lovely soft mixture now. And you make this up in crescents. I'll put this out of the way. Out the way and put a bit of flour in your hands. Get a little bit of dough, about a teaspoonful, roll it up in your hands, roll it up in your hands like that and make a little, oh, make a little crescent out of it. Just around like that and make a crescent out of it. That's all we gotta do. Just put a little bit of, about a teaspoonful, just roll it in your hands and just roll it round to make a little crescent out of it, like that. Very easy. This, this is a beautiful soft dough, lovely and pliable. You can do anything with it. Just wrap it round like that and make these little soft crescents out of it. I get about three trays of this, these crescents. What you have to do is you've got to take them out of the oven when they warm and you've got to roll them in icing sugar and then you put some no, we roll them into caster sugar, I'm sorry. And look, just keep on doing the same thing like that. And a lovely soft dough with a lovely soft dough. Just keep on doing, just get about a teaspoon full. Just roll it in your hand, shape it around. They will swell a little bit. They didn't, don't swell too much, so don't do them too big. And just roll them out and just put a little crescent like that on the thing. And that's it. you've got to keep on doing the same thing. I've got a tray in the oven and I'm going to show you how I'm going to. I have to roll them in the caster sugar while they come out hot and then I put some icing sugar on the top to finish them off. 
So just keep on doing the same thing like that. And I get th three of these trays I get out of this batch of dough. Lovely. It's a, such a lovely soft pile dough. Just turn it around like that and you've got this beautiful crescent. And they're such a lovely biscuit. Look, honestly, I'll just keep on doing that. The same thing. I'll put another couple, another row here. Very easy to make, very lovely, pileable, lovely and soft and beautiful. Okay, look, I've got a, a nice tray there. I'll show you the other ones I'm going to take out of the oven. Okay, beautiful, lovely. And that's what they look like when you do the almond crescents, okay? Now I'm going to put them in the oven and I'm going to take mine out. I'm going to put them in the oven. And I'll take the ones I've got in here. They are nice and brown. Nice and brown. And what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm just going to take that away otherwise it's hot. I'm going to roll them in icing sugar. I'm going to roll them in caster sugar. I'm sorry, I keep on saying icing sugar. We're going to roll them in icing sugar. That's hot. Nice caster sugar. Roll them. While they're hot, just put them in a, a, on a, a rack, okay? Put that on there and put them like that. If you roll it in the caster sugar and that, while they hot that caster sugar sticks to them. Keep on doing the same thing and then what we do is we put some, just put these while they hot. The caster sugar sticks to them while they hot and then we put we put a layer of icing sugar on the top and that's what they are, these beautiful almond crescents. I just put them in there while they hot they stick to that caster sugar while they warm. You can do it straight away and keep on doing the same thing. Look, I've got a nice tray there and another, I think we get, I can get three trays out of these, these dose of biscuits, okay? Just put them up there like that. Keep on doing the same thing. Okay, now we only got another three left. We're right. Okay, I'll put this over here. Now what I've got to do after on this one, we're going to put some nice icing sugar on the top. I'm going to sprinkle some lovely icing sugar on the top. Just put them on the rack to cool them down like that. While they're still warm, put them in the caster sugar. Okay, now I'm going to put some icing sugar on the top. I'm going to sprinkle some icing sugar on the top like that. Beautiful. Okay. And now we're going to have a, a nice plate of almond crescents. A nice plate of almond crescents for morning tea. And you've got them all ready. Lovely. Lovely plate. They make a lovely plate of morning tea biscuits or whatever. Look. That's your beautiful almond crescents made up. Lovely, they're beautiful. They're lovely and crispy. They keep well in the container. They're very easy to make. No mixing with an electric mixer. Just mix it all together. You've got 240 gram of melted butter. Oh, not melted butter, but softened butter. Half a cup of caster sugar. No, half a cup of icing sugar, sorry. I'm getting all mixed up. Half a teaspoon of salt in the vanilla. And then you put one and a half cup of self-raising flour and three quarter cup of almond meal and just mix it all together. And I showed you, it's so lovely and soft and easy to ply. Just roll them up and put them in a crescent and look, give them about, I've got the oven on 180, at least 180 degrees and give them about 12 to 15 minutes. You can tell when they're lightly brown. They're just that lovely, lightly brown color on the top. And, uh, and then roll them in the caster sugar while they're hot 
and then sprinkle the icing sugar, the caster sugar, sprinkle the icing sugar on the top when they finished. Okay, look, this is something that they are really, really nice. I love these almond crescents. My kids love them. So they'll be having some when they come over. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.